Hello, it's Janusz Hofer again from the garden shed. I have changed uh, my camera position a little bit because in the last video my lawnmower was hanging into the picture, but now you can see that the camera is actually on the lawnmower. In today's video, I am going to try two beers. Both are non-alcoholic, both are Belgian. One is the Hogarden, Hogarden, or Hogarden, whichever you prefer, and the Lefe. I used to enjoy Lefe a lot when I was drinking alcohol, um, because it has uh, its own special flavor in Hungary where I grown up I think this was the only Belgian beer or those two were the only Belgian beers you could buy in big supermarkets and Lefe, Lefe had uh, a dark version of swell but the non-alcoholic is the blonde and it's really interesting that it has uh, maize in it. The ingredients are over there. Saying uh, water, barley, malt, maize. No, again. Water, barley, malt, maize, barley, sugar, hops and natural aromas. And I was really surprised when I tried it because it is tastes more or less the same as the alcoholic version. It has that little bit sweet, creamy taste. And it it gives you the original Lefe experience. Let's pour it out in the cup. We will try to give it a little bit of foam. If it has a good foam or not. Oh yes, there is the foam. It's only 250 mils. The color. It hasn't got a amazing color but to be honest I can uh, I think it's an authentic Lefe color and I, I bought them in a in a six pack so I already had this is the last bottle Yeah, perfect foam on it. I just try to pour the whole beer out in the glass. So that's the Lefe. Skull. Cheers. That's the Rovia, everyone. I guess she get the queer. As Volta, this was uh, sorry for the Hungarian. This one is our other B for today, Ho Garden or Ho Gordon Wit Blanke Wit Beer. This I have to say, I think for me. This gives a better experience than the alcoholic one. I had this before in pubs as a drowned beer. And when I seen other people tasting it, they they stressed it out that this actually has more calories than other non-alcoholic beers and it contains sugar as well. Some people said that this is more or less like a, a soft drink. But uh, yeah, this is this is a 
wheat beer, so wheat has high calorie content. But anyway, the ingredients are water, barley, malt, wheat, sugar, flavors, acidifiers, citric acid, uh, coriander seeds, orange peel, hop, and apple extract. By the way, in the background you can hear this uh, Californian female, or female punk band, if you can hear it. But let's get back to the beer. Weed beer. Should we mix it a bit like that? I don't know. But we will see if there will be yeast uh, traces traces of yeast pouring out should yes they do get that hazy color a bit of a mix This won't fit in there. He has the color exactly gives you the the orangey. Uh, well, we've seen that it contains apple extract as well, but that's how the color looks like. The smell is exactly the wheat beer smell. You. So by the smell, I don't, I wouldn't be able to tell if this one is alcoholic or non-alcoholic. But then, yeah, there are videos on YouTube where people compare them side by side. But, but I don't do that. I don't drink alcohol. But, uh, yeah, might be boring anyway. I mean, uh, to straight it. So that's that's what I'm drinking. Non-alcoholic. Yeah, by the smell of it. This is really fruity, orangey, and the uh, luffy gives you the this this creamy smell, a bit sweet. So when you try the whole garden. The first thing you would I taste is a bit of a fruity flavor and then the, the wheat, uh, the unique, the, just that uh, wheat flavor, wheat beer flavor taste comes second after the fruit. Let's feel it. the rest of it back there. Okay. That's really fruity. I don't know if I stirred it up enough to to allow the the traces of wheat and yeast uh, go around the whole cup equally, but that was it. And Luffy, our Luffy, very clear. It still form on the top.
and that's the last it's actually a really good beer I can recommend both of them if they are into non-alcoholic beers or or you just cannot drink alcohol for some reason this is the one of the right choices to go with and there is something else for today there are actually a couple of things I want to talk about today's video yes on the 16th of April more last week I received the new Cannibal Corpse vinyl I have streamed shitloads the album the day on that day probably four or five times four or five times and I really enjoy it I should go and listen it this will be the color as it says in there is the pot green but I think it's like really it looks really slimy and bloody pot green mushroom marble vinyl I don't know I mean there were so many color variants available I gone with that because yeah, I, I really like red, but I don't like having everything in red and blue, so... I'm really excited to see how it looks like. I have been waiting for a week to open this on video. I have to spare this time. Wait, but... So, for first look in there. group photo sleeve something else that's it I think the download code so I cover it up and let's see our vinyl wheat mushroomy Oh, look at them. That is actually beautiful. I like colored vinyls. I was expecting the uncensored cover in this, but it wasn't in there. So I need to hunt for a copy. I think I've, that will be a, a CD version, which comes with the, with the uncensored cover probably inside. For There will be some other things to talk about, but I think I'm going to make it another video. This will be about my my cassette player and and the and the cassettes I'm listening to. Thanks for watching. See you soon.